Welcome to this beginner's guide of setting up a Nostra account. If you have watched my documentary about Nostra, you probably know already what this is going to be about. I want to show you the easiest way to access this protocol and start using it right away. Okay, to start, we're going to use a web-based client and this one is called Iris. So basically just open up your web browser, type in iris.to and you see a blank page with a field which asks you what's your name. So this is for the people who don't have an account yet. So I am just typing in here, my name is Max, right? So with clicking the go button, now what's happening in the back end is basically it's generating a key pair for me to access the protocol. I'm going to explain everything for you. It's not as complicated as it sounds. But you also see here the private key access. That's basically what we are doing now with the Go, um, but we don't have an account yet. So the private key access would be if you have already created an account, you could click on this one and then log into your existing account. But we don't have one yet, right? So we got to click on the Go button and there we have it. Basically, we are logged in to our Nostra account. As you can see, this is the Iris, um, the Iris page. You can follow a bunch of people here. You can follow Jack, Lynn. What basically just happened with us logging into Nostra is that each Nostra account is based on a private and a public key pair. They always work together. The public key is basically the identifier of you or me on the protocol. So this one is very unique. It's always gonna be my account, for example. This one is always me. And the private key is a little bit like the password. With this private key and this password, you can access your account to then post stuff, look into the messages, and basically interact with your friends. So we have the public key, which is like the username and the private key, which is the password to access this one. This is in the back end. So now, because this is different than the other social media apps, we need to make sure that this is safely stored. Because what does it really mean that it's different? So with Nostr, right? There is no one who can help you to recover this password because it is on the protocol layer. The clients is really just a way for you to look into it and to translate it. There is no, I have forgotten my password button here. The data is your data, okay? The client just processes the data and then makes it feel like a social media app. But the revolutionary thing here is that basically you take the responsibility for your data, for your password, and for everything that's connected to your identity. Therefore, now we need to make sure that we save our private key. Because if we don't save it properly or back it up, we lose our account. <laughs> this happens quite often. So you see a couple of people who have like five accounts because they lost their private key. And I don't want you to lose this. So before you dive into it, and um, enjoy an author, we gonna back this one up. We go on Iris and we go on settings. So here you see your public key. The public key, you can copy it. And this is safe to share anywhere you want. So a lot of people have this on Twitter, on their social media accounts, so people can follow them. Because once you search this public key, you will, you will see the person. So how does it work? For example, I have my pu public key here. That's my public key. I just copy pasted it and it shows my account. This is what I posted. This is the trailer for the documentary, which I just posted. If you haven't watched it yet, I would highly recommend watching it because you will see what Nostra is about. And this is basically my account, but you don't see my private key, obviously only I have access to the private key because if you would have the private key, you could go in there and log in as my persona, post for me, 
common for me and basically talk with my friends. And that's not what I want. So let's make sure you um, safely save this one. And you see here, the option of the private key. And it says already here, danger. Because the private key gives you access to your account. And you don't want to show this publicly or give it to anybody else. So you can copy this one and then you basically have it in your, I don't know how you say it, the copy paste thing in your, in your laptop. And this one would be recommended to paste into a password manager. That's gonna be the first step. So if you have a password manager, um, there is one called when one password. That's one which I recommend and a lot of Nostra people as well. Um, just secure it there as your Nostra private key. Don't put it out in the internet, which actually someone did. And yeah, within seconds, everybody logged in and posted it in, uh, a friend of mine. So make sure this one is securely saved. Only you have the access. This is a very important first step. So now the next step would be we need to copy paste or to save this private key also in a web extension. Why? I will show you in a second, but we will use one which is called Albi. Just Google Albi and then I think it should come. Yeah, get Albi. That's basically what we're going to use. You can see here it's a Bitcoin and Noster web extension or browser extension. So we're going to press add, brow brow add browser extension, add to Chrome, add extension. This is the extension which you're going to see. You need to put in a password. So this password is basically to open up the web extension for you to use with Nostra. So we're going to sign up. We're going to put in your email address and password again. Obviously, this should be a good password. And then you can choose a lightning address here. It's not really that important for you to understand uh, yet. This is, if you want to go deeper into it, Lightning addresses are basically to receive Bitcoin. Just put in your name if it's free. I'm going to put in max at getalbi.com. Yeah, this one is not tip. Max123 should be free. Yeah, this one is free. So now we have the extension installed. We see it here. I'm going to pin it. So I always see it here. It's this little B here on the upper right hand. And what this is, it's basically a Bitcoin wallet, but this is not what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the Nostr usage of LB. So we go into settings and we see a lot of different stuff here, but you gotta scroll down and go to Nostr. And as you can see here, they say, they explain a little bit what Nostr is, but we need the section where it says private key. So if we go to accounts, if we click to go to accounts, we see our account here. And what we need to do is press it. And now we are within our account in the Albi extension. And here we have the possibility to copy paste our private key, which we just copied before. If you didn't have a password manager yet, you can basically copy it here. You go in here, oh, all was brought to ourselves. I'm not going to use this one, obviously, but you just saw. This is part of the private key, as you can see here, yeah? So we're going to save this one. The public key field before was empty, right? But now it tested if this is a valid private key, and it was able to find your account. So to double check if this is now our account, we're going to copy this one. Go back to Iris and go into the search bar and paste the end part. And this is the account I just set up, right? It's Max. I'm following already two people, Lynn and Jack, as you saw in the beginning. So everything seems right. So now we have this saved here and then we basically can close the window. Saved. We don't want to remove this account yet. And it also says here, don't forget to back it up. Please back up your private keys also, not only in LD, but in another way, in your password manager. 
So now we have Aldi set up. And the cool thing about Aldi now is here. If I want to post something, I'm gonna post hi, this is my first post on Noster Pula Vida. So let's see if it worked here. Hi, this is my first post on Noster Pura Vida. So why did we do all of this with Albi? You'll see now. Because I'm gonna go to my account and I want to log out. It's basically at settings and then account log out. You cannot log on, log in again unless you have saved copy of your private key here. This is the point. Once you're logged out, you can't access your account anymore without having the private key. So log out. We are at the beginning again. But this time we could either make the private key access where we just copy paste the private key. But this is how yeah, you need to search it and so on. But with Aldi, it now shows you the option of a Nox Noster extension login. So what this does is it opens up Aldi and you basically just need to press connect. Connect, it says it's gonna read your public key and post your private key. You confirm it and you are inside of this. And the good thing about this is basically that you don't need to copy paste your private key. It's not open to see. It is just within the extension, which you can unlock with your password. And this works with any client. So let's look into Snort. That's another um, client for, for Noster. It looks different as you can see. And already by just opening it, it opens Aldi. And it asks me, do you want to log in? Do like they need the request? They need in the backend a lot of different stuff for you to be able to interact with the uh, Noster protocol. So you just press connect. Okay, didn't work. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna log in with the extension again. They want to read my public key. Of course they are allowed. And they also want to sign a client auth authentication. That's fine. And I already see here the posts of Lynn and probably Jack because those are the people I follow, right? Let's see, it's maxed. The public key is the same, which I probably well, it should be the same as you can see here. So I'm already logged in into two apps with um, Albi. So there are a couple of caveats here. So if you use Noster, they might ask you for um, different posts or if you want to comment on something to sign something. And this signing creates a cryptographical signature for each action on Noster because it just needs to verify that it's really you, you have the private key and you're allowed to access the protocol and post something in your own name. So they might ask you when you post something or if you want to comment something to sign the message. And this is just to approve, yep, that's me. And with Albi, there's a pretty cool way to automate it because you don't want this to be like every time you post something. This is awesome for not. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna post a smiley here for Lynn, reply, and there you have it. This is the signing. Allow Snort Social to sign a short text note with the content here. And I would just remember this because it's super annoying if you want to comment or interact with people and you always have to click confirm. And so now I confirmed it, the LB extension saved my confirmation. And now I'm able to comment on the same post again with just this one, reply, and it doesn't even ask me. So it's flawless. But we still need to use RB nowadays because as I said, we're very early in this and RB is a good gateway for you to store your private key and to interact with all of those clients like in a seamless way. So, so now we have the setup and you're basically good to go. But it might look very empty to be honest on Noster because I guess if you are the first one of your friends looking at this video or watching the documentary, not a lot of them are on there yet. 
So a hack on how to find people is you could search wherever you want. So this is for example my account and you can um, follow me up here. It says again here as you see it's another um, client. So it asks me here again, yeah, do I want to sign this message? I'm gonna say remember my choice and yeah, boom, there we go. And one cool thing is you can go to my followers for example. I have mainly Bitcoin friends and friends which I know from like the, the, the tech industry. You can follow all of them. So here, do you want to follow all of them? Yes. So now you have 200, 227 people already and your home feed gonna look way different, right? This is gonna, uh, this is how it's gonna look like. Choose someone which you know who uses Noster, follow everybody they are following, for example, Jack, and there you go. This is your first step, but obviously this is just a beginner's guide. This video could go for two hours because Noster is pretty fast with the development and there are super cool things that you can do. For example, sending Bitcoin to a post or someone using Noster. You have to understand how to upload pictures and videos. You can even go into like live podcast recordings and stuff like that. But all of this is very, very early yet. So it might feel a little bit clunky and therefore I don't want to overload you with all of this information yet. So I think this is a good way to start using Noster. And if you want to go deeper into it, in the description, you have longer tutorials and a little bit more details about stuff. Because as I said, all of this is very, very early. You have to understand it. And some apps might not function 100% as you're used to it from normal social media. And this is totally okay. Just try to understand it, try to play a little bit around. And if something doesn't work yet, it might work in a week or in a month or something. There are a lot of people trying to make this as good as possible, but obviously it takes time. It's new, but it's very, very exciting that we have the possibility to create such networks and such new forms of social media. That's why I'm very bullish on this. And yeah, so I hope this helped you to create your first Nostra account. I hope you enjoy it and try to play a little bit around and enjoy this new social media and let me know if it feels different because all of the people I'm talking to they say that using Nostr feels way different than using Twitter or Facebook or Instagram and I'm interested in your perception because it might just be that our bubble in which I am they say oh it's super cool it's super friendly everybody's so nice so let me know what you think about it and tinker a little bit around and, and yeah i guess that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye